Alright, welcome to the channel and today we'll be talking about the lovely Eddy Current Black Widow, which is right here. It has a lovely toggle switch there, the light goes on and we're powered up, ready to rock. And anyhow, this was sent out by a buddy of mine, thank you Rourke, and also uh, another buddy sent out a power cable that they last minute threw together for this little uh, demo. And so thank you Tweaks. And yeah, so let's dive into what makes the Eddy Current Black Widow one of the kind of cool special amps that are out there these days. Uh, and with that, we'll kind of dive into the build, aesthetics, uh, general sound profile, that kind of deal, and kind of then final thoughts. So let's dive right into it. All right, so with the build of the lovely black widow here as you can kind of get a feel for it here uh it's a big black box and it's built like a tank it's all metal uh, a little rubber feet here nothing too crazy the build's very kind of basic simple and honestly I'm, I'm digging on the look of it it has these really cool industrial like vents for heat dissipation uh, I like the texture and finish over the top. It has this kind of grain, uh, look grainy kind of, I don't know if I can get that to populate, but it's got a nice little grain to it and texture. It's solid. The front plate is, my, don't mind all the <laughs> fingerprints, but it's actually really nice. It has another plate on top of this, which kind of gives you this, um, uh, so here's like the normal feel of it, like texture build, kind of quality aluminum. And then it has another uh, plate over the top of that with your lovely toggle switch, the general logo, what have you, uh, your inputs, and also there's a little light here when it's powered on, and the volume pot here. So the feel of this is quite lovely. The back is pretty simple, just RCAs. So in and then also I think there's like a loop so you can like loop other things through it. And anyhow, this thing is solid as far as build goes. Built like a tank. Surprise, I mean it's heavy but it's not extremely heavy. Like this is, you know, 15 pounds maybe, 20 at the most. Um, you know, maybe not even that, like 10 to 15, uh, somewhere in that range. And it's it's built very well like i'd say uh quality of this is industrial <laughs> built and it's solid like i wouldn't expect you to like throw it around and toss it and break it that kind of thing but as far as just build quality i wouldn't be too stressed about this thing at all like it's built quite well very fantastic and then that kind of leads into the aesthetic which i'm digging the industrial look of this though it does i mean you have like the you can see the screws are all here so it's easy to get in and out of if you needed to for whatever reason do any kind of repairs on it if you knew what you were doing i wouldn't recommend it unless you knew what you were doing <laughs> uh the volume knob and just like the layout of the like the colors and like the the way that the logo looks and the black and white aesthetic i'm really digging that a lot and it's just simple and it has the nice little vents up top and it looks nice it's not something I would say is elegant but it's definitely it, it's done well <laughs> it doesn't look bad I think it's a industrial look to it and it's a very clean and easy to get along with in my opinion look but once again aesthetics are hit or miss for a lot of different people so take that for what it is the aesthetics are <laughs> the aesthetics I think personally that they're quite quite nice I dig on it it's a little bit on the larger side as far as a uh, on the desktop side of the house but it's you know smaller than my spring three and what have you so there's that uh, but it it's pretty pretty awesome looking I think personally I like I dig on that kind of retro industrial look that it's got going on then moving into the sound of this uh, it's a solid state but it has this kind of nice warmth to it but it's not overly done it's kind of more neutral warm uh, it it's I would say it's actually kind of similar to my last video I did with the Quicksilver, but this has just, it's just cleaner. It has, you know, cause there's no tubes involved. So you lose a little bit of the, uh, that kind of tubiness <laughs> that comes along with tubes and you get a little more cleaner image and cleaner kind of, uh, presentation. But this one actually does a really good job for a solid state in kind of warming some things up and, and not, losing its soul <laughs> to being a solid state it still has some like kind of oomph there there's some engagement there's some there's some meat on the bones kind of say and uh the 
other thing that I was really enjoying with this was I was pairing it with everything. And so, so first up, I got paired with the Black Widow. I did the Rad Zeros. And for whatever reason, the pairing was slightly brighter than I was expecting. And it wasn't like piercing or anything like that, but it was definitely more like kind of emphasize mids and upper range than I was expecting uh, but it did pair well I thought in my opinion I did enjoy it other people might not necessarily think it's the best pairing but for what it is I thought it was a lovely pairing and I, I didn't mind it it did definitely kind of skew more to that mids and highs being a little bit on the more sheeny side or like shimmer side but I thought it was fantastic otherwise and but that's going to be a hit or miss for depending on what your preferences are Sorry, I'm, I have these all lined up here. I have a lot of headphones here. Uh, with my Verite Opens. And I thought this was a fantastic pairing. This was like next level good. I was really impressed with this pairing. It, it's definitely a more V-shaped signature. And the mids are a little bit more recessed. Uh, but it's a lot of energy, a lot of fun, a lot of engagement. And, it, it, and that little bit of warmth that the Black Widow provides and kind of gives you a little bit of that tube scenario, it accentuates the stage and the imaging that these do. And it's fantastic. Really lovely pairing with that. And then moving on, I then paired with my beautiful atriums. And once again, engagement went up. It was like a very fun, enjoyable listen. It had this uh, quite lovely like stage got really wide the imaging was really nice and it had a little more energy to it the mids were more forward than with the verites but i think that the stage wasn't quite as wide the um other thing i found was that the the highs weren't quite as uh, uh fast but it was still very engaging and very lovely and then the lows were about the same but not quite as uh, energetic i'd say a little more uh kind of easy going with the atriums compared to the verite opens uh, lovely, lovely pairing as well. Really enjoyed this pairing. I listened to this combo a lot. Then the final one I utilized it with was the soon-to-be-release ZMF Calderas. And, whew, man, there is something very unique and special about <laughs> these headphones. Like, they just... And I'm still trying to figure out how to like word this properly. And I'll do... A, I'm doing a whole video on these here. Hopefully, they'll be out next week. Um, but these are fantastic like they, they kind of have this unique take like i want to say they're most similar to the atriums but not <laughs> like they're just a unique beast like all of zach's uh, zmf's headphones they all have unique characters and unique qualities and and um what they do well and so with the caldera i was just i was definitely blown away with the with the pairing with the black widow it just really accentuated what this does really well which is you know a lot of good imaging really good stage it's Every, I mean, you're probably going to hear me say this a bunch in the video on these, but these are everything that I wanted the Sasfara to be. So, <laughs> that being said, back to the Eddie Current Black Widow. I think for what it is, it's kind of been around for a while as far as Eddie Current. He's a, you know, he's a real popular, you know, headphone amplifier maker and, and what have you, tube amplifier maker. And I think the sound signature that you get with Eddie Current is lovely i've really been digging on it and it just honestly it's kind of hard to let go of this one and i'm, I'm gonna have to give it off up to the next uh, person on the little demo tour here here soon but uh god it's it's a fantastic little headphone app i was really enjoying it it really accentuated everything that i wanted it to do and as far as like a solid state goes the only one i could think of that's similar to it but probably a little more warm than this would be the bryston and but i, I kind of am leaning more towards this one as for its signature because it's it, it gives you just enough flavor to enjoy it and engage with it where it isn't overdoing one area or another it's just a quite well done and balanced to more or less headphone amplifier and I'm, I'm digging on it. It's just a really enjoyable headphone amplifier. Uh, it just has a little bit of like this tube seasoning to the flavor of the, the audio. And I've just been really enjoying it. It's uh, quite the lovely amp. And as far as the, oh, the cons got lost in my <laughs> enamoredness with the headphone amplifier here. The uh, Black Widow, I, I did notice like, the, it has a kind of this old school volume pot like uh, knob on there, and that's that's like a, a plastic knob. 
but I mean, you could always swap that out for something else if you wanted to. And that's one of the things where it, there's nothing wrong with it. The volume pot itself is excellent. It works really well. I just, for some reason, like the, that, it fits that old school thing. But for me, like I, I wanted something, <laughs> I don't know, for me, like it feels like it needs to have like a, like a, like a skull knob or like something like kind of cool there or something. But that's more of an aesthetic thing. It has nothing to do with actually performance or how good that feels. It's a solid, smooth volume pot. Um, so basically any cons I have are aesthetics. Uh, let's see. Um, that's about it. So final thoughts on this are that I kind of love it. It's a fantastic amp. I really dig on the aesthetics, the look, and the sound of it is just really, really good, really well done. And it just fits my kind of uh, sit down, relax, and listen to music. It, it fills that enjoyment of audio for me like it just it it's an easy thing i plug in i don't have to worry about it and it's just go so that's something i've always really dug on is does this allow for me to have quick easy access to relaxing with my audio and it does you just plug in and go there's no worries there's no finagles it just it gives me that that presentation that i want right away i don't have to worry about tubes warming up i don't have to worry about tubes failing it just plug and go so really digging on it and it's been a really lovely experience having this in the house and having the opportunity to kind of listen to it and get that understanding of how I feel about it or you know get my kind of idea of what this does and it's been enjoyable to say the least <laughs> so uh with that being said I think it's definitely a recommendation for me as far as like my enjoyment of this amplifier I really did really enjoy it and I think that if you can find one, there's a lot on the aftermarket, what have you, and I don't know if they still make these, but I know that Eddie Current still has their website, I'll link below, and uh, you can see if you can get one in brand new, I believe they're still making amps, but I could be wrong, but the website's still there. Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so the Eddie Current Black Widow, it's a lovely amplifier, and if you can get a chance to hear one, I highly recommend it, it's fantastic, so... With that, I will let everyone have their morning, afternoon, evening back, and on to the next one. Cheers. Thanks, everybody.